Hey friends, so today was the day, um, went down to the post office, if you saw my last video I was kind of griping about the post office not bringing stuff directly to my door, uh, so I had to go down to the post office today and actually to get two packages, uh, the first one was my new set of extreme production carbon fiber props from Heli Parts Direct, um, thank you Adam by the way for the shirt. Uh, even though 2X is the <clears throat> biggest you had, it's a little snug. I guess that just means I'm kind of fat. Um, maybe I should lose some weight and the shirt will fit a little bit better. Um, so last time I got the extreme carbon fiber props, I got the red set. Today I got, I got the uh, white set. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm probably going to paint the adapters anyway. Um, so I'm really happy that I got these. The other thing that I got in the mail was this. Now if you're a Blade 350QX owner, you've probably seen these if you're on the 350QX owners group on Facebook. This is the Turnigy Multi-Star 4-pack direct drop-in replacements for the Blade 350QX. Uh, now in this box, and I've already pulled two of them out, you get your four Turnigy Multi-Star 2209 uh, 1200KV motors. Now these are direct drop-in replacements for the stock 350QX uh, motor. So you get, let me pop this out here. So here's the motor. Now I don't have one of my stock motors um, because I sent everything back to Horizon Hobby after my flyaway uh, to get checked out, repaired, replaced, whatever. Um, but according to the Hobby King video um, that was produced for them, and the, the guy goes over and he takes his calipers and shows all the dimensions, um, these are the exact same size uh, motor, so height and diameter, they're the exact same size. Um, this is a little bit different. You can see that you don't have that center hub where the, the bell is stamped. Um, so it, this hole in the middle isn't really necessary anymore for for these anyway. Um, the the other thing that I first notice is the shaft is just a little bit longer. Um, it's a what does they say? It's a 3.17 millimeter shaft. So you can go ahead and you can put a collet on here and bolt up whatever APC gem fan props that you want. Um, you also have your what is it? The 15 millimeter spacing for the Blade 350 uh, B style props or the Extreme Production Heli Parts Direct uh, props. And then you also have your 12 millimeter spacing for uh, a standard T prop. And with it, you get the adapter plate. Now, what this does. Because the hole in the middle of a T-prop is, what do they say here? It's like 4 millimeters, and the shaft is 3.17. So you get your adapter, and you can see, let's see here. You see that little ridge right there? That's to help center up the prop, so basically you take your adapter, put your prop in between there, put your adapter on it, and then go ahead and put your screws in. Um, in the pack you also get your mounting screws for the T-props. Um, since I use the extreme production carbon fibers, they'll just bolt right up to the 15 millimeter holes on the bottom, or on the on the top, rather. Uh, on the bottom, you've got your standard 14 by 14 um, mounting measurements for the Blade 350QX. Uh, and then you also see these two little holes right here on either side. That's for the alignment pin that is in the 350QX stock frame. So it'll just drop right in, bolt right up um, using the 3mm screws on the bottom. Um, and then you also have the standard blade um, bullet connectors, the 3.5mm connectors. I really like the quality of these. Um, I was out at breakfast this morning right after I got the uh, package and pulled it open and was sitting there inspecting everything. Um, 
you know, the, the machining on these is a really incredible quality. Um, you know, you've got one little snap ring connector you can go ahead and pop off. See, you crash, you get some dirt in there. Um, and you pull it off. But then, right inside there, you see that little divot. There's actually an Allen set screw in there, so that you can take the bell apart from the shaft. Um, so say if I know there was a, a one of the guys on the 350QX owners group um, was talking about cutting these shafts down a little bit, um, and he he wrapped the motor before he cut the shaft off. Well, you could you could do that, or you could just pop that off take the screw out and take the shaft apart from the rest of the motor go ahead and make your cut and then put everything back together depends on how you want to do it um, so so far I'm really happy now what I did because everything else is at horizon getting worked on um, so I don't have any of my speed controllers I don't have my my main board any of that stuff um, I do, however, have uh, my Turnigy 18 amp uh, plush ESCs with 4 millimeter bullet connectors on it. So I've I've gone ahead and I've rigged up a little deal right here. Now you can see. Let me grab this one. So this is for my this is the motor mount for my SK 450 frame, which is right here. So I've popped two of them off. I'll show you why here in a minute. Um, so, I've got the one. Now, these are a 16 by 19 um, bolt pattern. So, to mount the, the uh, Turnigy Multi Stars, I actually had to go in and Dremel these two holes down a millimeter. Um, I was thinking about doing the 19 millimeter side. I don't think it's a huge deal if you just have the two bolted up. Um, it would be nice though if Hobby King came out with uh, replacements for these with the 14 by 14 millimeter pattern. That way, because I, you know, I do like the blade, the platform, the 350QX platform. Um, the frame, not so much, but the electronics inside of it, aside from the whole proprietary. Um, deal it's a good system um you know for the for the price ready to fly at you know 459 it's not a bad system at all um but and hobby king you know they are doing their part to make some you know accessories some aftermarket accessories you know these motors here um you know these are 1200 kv whereas the stock Motors are 1100 kV. So, I mean, you get 100 more revolutions per volt than the stock motors. So, I mean, it's a little beefier. Um, if you're carrying a GoPro or you're carrying, you know, you have a gimbal, you have FPV gear, you're going to get a little bit more punch out of it. Um, you know, now if Hobby King can just turn their attention to these motor mounts so that I don't have to drum all them out myself. But hey, first world problems. So anyway, so I went ahead and I hooked up my Turnigy 18 amp ESC. These motors will handle up to 20 amps according to the Hobby King website. And I just went ahead and, and taped those down secure. Because I do want to do a motor run up. Um, and just to show you guys how quiet these motors really are compared to the Blade stock motors. So... I've got my DX5 and we're going to go ahead and connect the flight battery. Okay. Can you hear that at all? Because mostly what I hear is the wind generated by the, the uh, cooling ports on the top. 
uh, these things are super quiet. That's full throttle. And now I really wish I had one of my uh, stock 350 motors here so that I could show you just the noise difference. Um, the 350 motors, dear lord, there we go. The 350 motors are a lot more noisy. Um, and I don't know if, if it was just mine that I had, but for some reason the, the stock motors, they sounded like they had a... a a bearing going out from day one. Pulled it out of the box. Sounded like it had a little bit of a rattle to it. Um, I don't know if it was if it's just those motors or if it was you know I got luck of the draw and, and you know got ones that rattled. These things are so much quieter. Um, it's hands down. So I've got those. Now I kind of wanted to do a uh, a thrust test and so I was sitting here thinking about how to do that and so pardon me so I got this set up um, now I took one of the carbon fiber props and I've got it on I mean you can see the angle of that so it's actually pushing down um, and I've, I've got the speed controller set up um, I don't know how well this is going to work, but you know what? We're going to try it out. Um, so let me go ahead and pop my receiver over. Dear Lord. Okay, so we've got the receiver set up. We'll get that back together. And... And it would help if I connected it to the right speed controller. Okay. Always make sure you're at uh, zero throttle when you do this. So, okay. Let's see if we can do this here, right? Okay, so I got that sucker all set up. And I'm trying to do this upside down. Alright. Scale is zero. And I, like I said, I don't know how well this is going to work. But we're going to try it. Can you hear that? That just sounds so smooth. So, I saw about a pound and a half of thrust. I'm sure these things put off a lot more. Um, let's see. I'm looking, sorry, I'm looking really quickly at the Hobby King um, specs on the motor. They don't tell you how much thrust these things have. Or thrust potential. I guess it, that really all depends on the uh, diameter and the pitch of the blade that you're putting on there. Like I said, I saw you know a little over a pound and a half of down thrust. I'm also pretty sure that around the scale here, you're not pulling in as much air um, as you would out in the open. So I don't know, but. I say a pound and a half of down thrust where, you know, the frame's going to weigh maybe three, four pounds. Um, you know, you're, you're definitely going to get some some punch out of it. And I'm going to try some more tests and, and see what I come up with. But until then, uh, 
you know, this is what I got. Um, I'm so far. I'm I'm really happy with these motors, even though I don't have them. I don't have a flight controller for them yet, but uh, they just they look and sound amazing. I'm really looking forward to get these uh, getting these on the um, on the SK450 frame, and then when I, as soon as I get my my main board back from Horizon Hobby, um, then we'll go ahead and, and do a we'll do a quick build video on it. Um, as always, HelipartsDirect.com, they're extreme carbon fiber props. I just love them. Um, and then go to Horizon or not, sorry, HobbyKing.com and uh, pick up your set of four Turnergy Multistar. Uh, Blade 350QX drop-in replacement motors. Uh, until next time.